What's going on, everyone? How are you all doing? So the long-awaited mail unboxing or opening uh, is finally upon us. Uh, I know I've put it off for a while now, but I've just been you know, kind of busy with everything that's uh, been going on over the last month. So this is about like a month worth, I guess, and uh, or a few weeks at least. That Maybe I should check more often. Maybe it locks. Anyways, um, yeah, so let's get right to it. So here is the big box right here, uh, and we're going to crack this one open find my knife yeah there it is if you guys feel like mailing me stuff uh all the info is down below so this one is from blender bottle and it says right that right so on the top they actually sent me a bunch of bottles to i guess just show you guys in live streams And I'm excited to open them. There we go. The chat's flowing now. I guess you guys are getting updates. So these are their exclusive uh, Star Wars blender bottles. And I think they're metal. Let's check them out. These look really nice. A whole bunch here. Oh, I really like these. Insulated 24 hours cold. These are really nice. If you guys want, I could maybe do some giveaways for these. I mean, they are they are metal. Check them out. Is that something you guys would want? If I did some giveaways with these? They're like metal flasks with a rubber top. And uh, yeah, I think these would be cool. What do you guys think? We got these. We got Vader. Let's open them all up. Love your voice, Star Wars Theory. Your voice especially, it's so soothing. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. We got Vader here. I really like the quality of these, man. These are... What's this one? Oh, dude, this is sick. Check this out. This is some, some prequel love right here. From the guys over at Blender Bottle. Check this out. Check what that says. I don't know if it's going to be backwards for you guys, but chosen one Maybe that's pretty cool. and last but not least we got Vader so these are very cool thank you very much blender bottle people appreciate you uh, I'm gonna do like a post for them on Instagram as well now let's get to the rest of the mail should we open this one as well or should we save it for the end I say we open it now because I'm excited to see what it says apparently on top or where was it so this is from a fan. I don't know. Oh, super chat. We got a super chat going on. Gonna read your guys' message. Kenny Zelinka with three bucks says, "Hey, Star Wars theory. Any plans on doing a Kotor? What if? Yeah, that'd be cool. I could do that for sure." Um, and Imagine Echo with a dollar. Oh, thanks, guys. All right. So yeah, this one it's it says the contents are worth over like two hundred bucks or something like that. So I mean, yeah, and it's it's. From a fan, so I have not opened it yet. I've just cracked open this part because I was very curious. But inside, we have what looks like a comic book or clothing. Hmm. So let's read the letter first, shall we? Content creators got to eat, right? Value $25. What? Hey, thanks, dude. Subway gift card. <laughs> That's, uh, it's green. That's crazy. I guess my, um, I guess my green screen thing is still activated. Um, but that's really nice of you, man. Like, I actually don't really eat at Subway, but I mean, I could always, always do a giveaway with this too, if you guys wanted, but, or I might just eat there. I don't know. You guys let me know. What else do we have in here? There's a whole bunch of stuff, man. Like, what the heck? That's like three, four. What else we got here? Five. Oh my God, there's more. Six.
cards, a book, Splinter of the Mind. Hey, that's the that's the part of the book I just made a video on for you guys, like uh, I think about a month ago, uh, about the crystal, the most powerful crystal in Star Wars, where Vader actually goes, and you can see him. I'm gonna put these over here. And we're gonna open the shirts up. Where Vader actually goes, and he uh, goes to this basically this this planet. I forgot what the planet was called. And uh, Luke and Leia are there. It's totally Legends. And he finds this crystal that basically allows him to use Force Lightning. And it's like, it's it's very cool. And like, uh, the crystal actually brought Leia back to life because Vader killed her. And it was a very interesting story. That's very nice. What else is in here? There's a lot of stuff in here, man. Like, oh, wow. This is like an original Vader. What the heck? Dude, I don't think that's a very common piece. <laughs> Who is this guy? What's his name? It's like covered up. David. David, thank you so much for all of this, man. Like, this is very, very generous stuff. This is very, very nice. What else we got in here? card and there's something else hey I like coloring books Let's see what the card says now, this is like Christmas dude this is a uh, mr. Pete channel needs 700 subs donates two dollars and he says can I please have the Vader bottle or a shout out uh, you can get a shout out you just got one the Vader bottle man I don't know I kind of want I, ca I want the chosen one bottle and the uh, which Vader bottle do you want? Do you want you want this one? Dude, I love these. I'm gonna drink from this chosen one bottle like every day. I'm stoked on that. I'm, I, I, I like little things like that. 20 bucks from Skyfu. He says, question for you, sir. In Revenge of the Sith fan film... Oh, in, in, in Revenge of the... In ROS film, Vader slaughter. Sla okay, so Revenge of the Sith film, Vader slaughters the Separatists mercilessly, one by one, without hesitation, but then gets to Gunray and stops to let him speak. Why do you think he let Gunray speak and no one else in the? I think that was just something that they put in there. I, I don't think it had any significance at all to anything in the film. Um, New Gunray has been in the story since you know Episode One. He's kind of been like this annoyingly evil dude. Uh, that's been uh, following Palpatine's or Sidious's um, orders. So I think he, Vader just wanted to see him grovel, and he knew he was going to kill him anyways, and that's that's how I think of it. But, uh, yeah, I think he just wanted to see him beg for his life and then just slash him. Uh, Darth Eris with two... Uh, th thank you very much for your 20 bucks. That's very, very generous. Darth Eris with $2 says, What did you think of the end of Game of Thrones? I actually have a video coming out about that. I haven't edited it yet. I have to have a video coming out about that. Uh, dude, I did not like it. Like, it it was very unbecoming of the characters, and it just didn't feel satisfying. But um, how that will relate to Star Wars, I don't know. I guess we'll have to wait and see. But I made a video on it, and I just have to edit it. Totally forgot, actually. Lucas Aldrich is a new member. Thank you, Lucas. Thank you very much. Uh, guys, if you want to become a new member, uh, please do so. You're going to be supporting the channel. And I've got a lot of good stuff coming out for you guys in the next I'd say a month and a half, uh, or even under that. So, Greetings from the East Coast. There has been an awakening. Have you felt it? In 2017, I discovered Star Wars Theory while searching YouTube for Star Wars fan fiction videos. Been watching Theory ever since. Sadly, my budget won't allow me to financially support the channel. However, I'm an eBay seller with surplus inventory. Please accept this small token of my appreciation. That makes sense. Thanks again for your passion, effort, and dedication to Star Wars fandom and the community at large. Power to the people. Keep up the great work. Look forward to the next Vader fan film. May the force be with you. Respectfully, Dave Richmond. P.S. All non-clothing items are new and unused, and all clothing was pre-washed. Enjoy. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. That's very, very, very uh, generous of you. The clothing. I'm going to open these up. What is this? Manic Mansion? Maniac Mansion? I have no clue what Maniac Mansion is. But it says LucasArts. I should know what that means. What does that mean? 
We got another 20 bucks from Brandon Dangerfield. He says, do you think that Anakin at full potential or any force user to your knowledge could use the force to survive the Thanos snap? No, but if Anakin was in front of Thanos before he did the snap, then he would wipe him out for sure. I think so. What do you guys think? Do you think Thanos would take him out? No, there's no way. There's just no way. Um, so we got all these shirts here. I'm gonna put these to the side, and then we'll get to all of this mail that we got going on. Thanks very much, David. That's a very very generous package of you. This one sounds like Lego, and it's uh, from Patrick. Yeah, good luck opening this. <laughs> I keep misplacing my knife. Where'd my knife go? What's up with you guys? How are you guys doing? Greetings, fellow head shaver. He always goes for the head. The universe wouldn't allow it. Hey, Commander Cody. Did you see Endgame? Yeah, I did see Endgame. Did you guys see Endgame? Man Manic Mansion was an amazing LucasArts point and click. Oh, really? Maybe that was before my time. No, I don't think that was before my time. I was born 1990. Dude, I'm having a real hard time <laughs> with this box here. Right. Oh, no, that's not Lego. What are these, like mech warriors? No. What the heck? These are like 3D builds of... I don't know if you guys can see that. That's a B2 battle droid. That's another B2 battle droid with a broken arm. That's a clone trooper. That's R2-D2. I don't know who this is. Looks like a guy from Gears of War. Vocal Wolf. Is that Luke? These are all really cool. this red one here but there's no letter I don't th oh no wait wait there is wait all right <laughs> he wrote it on the back of like a questionnaire thing uh, but where is there a letter I don't think there's a letter or anything like that well anyways thank you very much for that it's very cool this one seems like a magazine of some sorts New super chat from Robert the Villager, four pounds. He says, big respect, bro, for what you're doing. Love your work. Thank you, man. Clayton Lancaster with $5 says, thank you for all the time you put into making these videos for the Star Wars community. I appreciate your passion and look forward to many more years of Star Wars theory. Thank you very much. I look forward to that too. What is this? It seems like a script of some sorts. Is it? It is. Hello, I've been a fan of your channel for a long time, especially the obscure lore. I would write in person, but my handwriting is better than a doctor's, but worse than a chicken's. But to show my appreciation, I wanted to have I wanted you to have an adventure I've written up for the Fantasy Flight Star Wars games. It might not be great writing, but it could lead to a fun mini adventure, as well as 3D printed all the minis you would need to play. Oh, so that's from this guy. Okay, that makes sense now. Um, the you need to play as you can choose in miniatures. I would love to send my appreciation like a FX lightsaber or a buff Luke Skywalker figure, even Obi-Wan Kenobi cookie jar, but I do not have that kind of money. You've been an inspiration of every Star Wars fan out there. Well, thank you very much, Patrick. Really appreciate you. This is pretty cool. Star Wars weapon from the past. This is very interesting. It's like a full-on game with like that he made out of 3D printed. It's like a story. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate that. That's very cool of you. I'm going to check this out. All right. Next piece of mail here. Where are what are your thoughts on the Kotor movie that is being made separate from Game of Thrones writers? You got a video on that coming out either tomorrow or Sunday. Uh, keep reminding me because I keep forgetting to edit it. Uh, more super chats coming our way. We got uh, what do we got? 
Alex Lee with ten dollars says, "Hey man, keep up the great work and awesome content. With all the toxicity that seems to be happening with the Star Wars community, you make your channel a beacon of positivity. Thank you so much. Thanks, man. I mean, no one wants to be negative. I just, I just can't stand negativity. Like I just, yeah, it's cool to highlight some things that maybe could change or or could be better, but we don't have to be, you know, so." What's the point of life then if you're just hating on everything and you just can't enjoy anything? Like, that sucks. Can you name your top five favorite Star Wars characters? Yeah, Anakin, Qui Gon, Palpatine, Obi Wan, mm, Darth Malak. No. Yeah. Darth Malak. I think he's cool. I'm always on a toss between Darth Malak and Darth Malgus. Um, but, I mean, they're both cool in their own right. What was that for? Let's throw Luke in there. <laughs> this is going to be tough to open. Without ripping it. Alright. Hello there. I'm Benjamin, and I'm 14 years old. I turned 15 on August 23rd. I love Star Wars. My favorite movie is A Run to the Sith. My favorite character is either Luke, Anakin, or Obi-Wan, High Ground Master. I cannot wait for the rise of Skywalker. I also love Marvel. My favorite movie is Infinity War. Endgame would probably take its place. So to get to the point, your so this he must have sent this before Endgame came out. So to get to the point, your videos are amazing. November 2018, I never knew the difference between Legends and Canon. It was mainly you who taught me the Legends and canon differences. Whenever I'm troubled, I like to watch your videos. I'm subscribed to you, subscribe to you, to your Marvel and Star Wars channels. Cobra Kai and Harry Potter don't interest me much. Oh man, I sometimes watch your videos in class. Keep up the amazing work and the force will be with you always. P.S. My favorite music genre is rock. My favorite band is Breaking Benjamin. Dude, I love Breaking Benjamin too. Um, keep watching my videos, especially in class. Just don't get caught. Thank you, bro. Some more super chats. Uh, keep Koshbone with two dollars. Can you name? Okay, we did that. And Tegan Wiseman with a dollar. Tegan Wiseman with another dollar. General Kenobi with twenty dollars. Big fan of your channel. Uh, you have taught me more about Star Wars in the past two plus years uh, that I've watched you than when I learned in the than what I learned in the last twenty six years I have watched Star Wars. That being said, do you watch Star Trek at all? I used to watch Star Trek when I was a little kid with my dad. Um, kind of like as a pre-bed kind of thing, because it just sort of would put me to sleep. But yeah, I do like Star Trek. It's cool. I just haven't kept up up with it. It's a, got a very different vibe to Star Wars. I see a phone number. Oh, it's page two. Charles James with five bucks. Legends Luke vs. Anakin in his prime in a duel. Uh, Anakin, I think so. This guy with five bucks says, hey, Star Wars Theory, got a question for you. If you could be any character in the Star Wars universe, who would it be and why? Hope to see more fan fiction soon. Uh, the funny answer would be Rey because she just obviously can't die. <laughs> and she's good at everything. And the realistic answer would probably be Anakin because I feel like I would change my fate. I feel like I'd speak up more when, when the Jedi would uh, tell me to not be as powerful as I can be. Dear Star Wars Theory, I wrote to you before I put a phone number and I sent you a USB with me acting as a clone and a funny one where I put the sound or audio from the 2005 Battlefront, your finest hour in this and this many quiet writing. As a fan to you and a fan to Star Wars, I'm not trying to bother you and not just trying to please my nerdy self to be a clone in your next film and actually meet you. I live in Idaho and a lot of locations that are nearby where I like I live, like Craters of the Moon, Box, Canyon, <laughs> River Island, and even Twin Falls. Here's a new number that you can call. <laughs> the other one was on my parents' phone number. Please call back or text. Maybe you can write back. Well, thank you, dude. I appreciate you. Is this your phone number on the back? But you also leave one here. Don't read in... Okay, don't read in video. All right, I... Okay. I don't know if I was supposed to read that first or... All right. All right. <laughs> Next. Um, this one is from Emily. Kind of 
tight in there. Hey, that's very nice. It's very nice. Very long letter. And it's double sided. So, uh, hello there. I'm a huge fan of you and your channels. I'm subscribed to all of your channels, including Star Wars Theory, High Ground Gaming, uh, Comic Marvel, Marvel Theory now, Cobra Kai Theory, Harry Potter Theory, Swole Wars Theory, and Star Wars Theory Comics. Speaking of your games channel, comics channel, I cannot find it in your description boxes in your recent videos. I'm sure if you leave the link for it in the description box, more people will subscribe to help you fund Vader Episode 2. I'm also not a Harry Potter fan. What? This is outrageous. It's unfair. But I subscribe to the channel and will watch all of your videos. Well, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. And leave a like so I can support your uh, support you. And who knows? Maybe you will be the one who inspires me to like hate Harry Potter. Anyways, back to your main channel. I have been subscribed since before 10K and has been amazingly Amazing watching your channel grow. I watch your videos every day and leave a like, of course. Your Vader fan film shards of the past was very good and I wanted it, watched it a couple of times. I also love your what if theories and one of my favorites would be what if Darth Maul turned Anakin to the dark side. Also, will you continue your what if I wrote the last Jedi series? I cannot thank you enough for being a positive figure in the Star Wars community and the fan base is the fan base is divided right now. Now, if I may, I would like to explain to you why I like Rey and I know what you're thinking. What? So the rest is, I guess, just more about Rey and, uh, it's like four or five pages long, which I'm gonna read on my own, but I don't wanna I don't wanna read it in front of you guys because it'll take forever, just like the last one. But thank you very much, Emily. It's very nice of you. Uh, so let's get to more of these. Oh, there's a lot of mail here. Raj H with a dollar. Charles James with Charles James with five bucks. Legends Luke, we did that one. Hello, fan from Denmark. Ah, oh, thank you, Sarah. Robert the Villager. Uh, may the force be with you, Master. Thank you, man. And Rhett Dilly with five bones says, Love your stuff, dude. I've been a Star Wars fan my whole life, and I've learned a lot more about it thanks to you. May the force be with you. Oh, thank you, man. Appreciate that. I'm glad you could have some fun on my channel. What is this? Darth Tater. Pud Wars. <laughs> is that a magnet? Where's the Where's the letter? Cats or dogs choose wisely or I'll unsubscribe and force choke you. Dogs. But I had a cat growing up. I'm a huge fan of your channel. You're my favorite YouTuber. I started watching Star Wars movies when I was about 12. How old were you when you started watching Star Wars movies? I was six. Do you think that Ray's parents will be revealed in episode nine? Yes. I hope that you like the Darth Tater magnet. I do. And remember, we are one with the Force in Idaho. The Force is with us. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. Next. This one is from Jacob. Dear Star Wars Theory, I've been a Star Wars fan since I was three. Oh, that's a very long time. I was introduced to Star Wars by my dad who took his life when I was 11 in 2012. Now the only things I have left of him is Star Wars and the guitar. I'm 18 now, 19 if you receive this after August 4th, which is my birthday. I've been playing the guitar for about two years, and I'm an old-timey country musician. If you like country music, I do. I can send you a copy of my first album when I record and release it. Sorry if this sounds like a plug. That wasn't my intent. It's not a plug, man. Anyways, I've been too broke to be able to donate, buy from the store. Otherwise, I would buy every shirt. I also was going to... Audition as the voice of the Emperor, but I misread the description of the auditions and I thought I had to be 18 to audition because I was 17 at the time. So I felt dumb when I reread it after Shards of the Past was released. Other than that, I haven't thought of anything to send with this letter, but I hope you write back with an autograph. And one thing I've always wondered if you can make a video is if Anakin was expelled from the Jedi Order for killing Dooku. That's a very, very good topic. And I'm going to do that one for you. And I also, where is it? I have some, here we go. I'll also send you this as well. So, 
Uh, I'm going to put this aside. So you'll be getting an autographed picture of myself hanging as Vader. You don't need to buy anything to have my support, man. Uh, as long as you're watching my videos and you get something out of them every day, that's all I care about. So thank you very much. This one is from uh, Liam Curry from Australia. That's a long ways away. This is a very tightly knit letter. Birthday wishes. Hi. This card is... Oh. Dear Star Wars Theory, I hope you had an amazing day from your fan in Australia, Liam Curry. This, this card is from my disabled autistic 25 year old son he's a massive fan a reply in any way would be greatly appreciated thank you well thank you so much uh liam i really appreciate you and thank you so much for sending me this this nice birthday card um, i wonder when you sent it <laughs> when did you send it it doesn't say interesting did i mention it was my birthday I don't remember if I mentioned it was my birthday, but thank you so much for sending this to me. This is very sweet. Uh, I wish I would have opened this on my birthday. It would have made it a lot better. No, I think I did an unboxing, a mail unboxing on my birthday. Right? All right. Something like that. Uh, we got $10 from Jacob. He says, uh, <laughs> do a sexy Star Wars theory calendar. I don't know how well that would go. There's a lot of kids that watch my channel. <laughs> Dear Star Wars Theory, hello there, Star Wars Theory. I just wanted to say thanks you for all the things you have done in the Star Wars fan base. You've been the light in the darkness ever since the last Jedi backlash. So thank you for being a positive, uh, being so positive when everyone else wasn't. This, thanks for being you and the best YouTuber, your friend Reed. Thank you, Reed. Really appreciate that, man. Uh, I don't know if I'm the best YouTuber, but I definitely try. That's for sure. Yeah, maybe I did mention it on Instagram. Yeah, maybe. Got a, uh, Dear Star Wars Theory, my name is Joey. I'm 17 years old, and I, this is like very, very hard to read because it's also double. Look at that. <laughs> I... I know you hear this a lot, but your videos always fill my head with new something of canon, new knowledge of knowledge of canon and legends. I also found your Vader fan film absolutely amazing, and if Lucasfilm Disney makes it canon, it will be a great. It if they don't make it canon, it'll be a great loss on their behalf. Anyways, uh, my YouTube name is Luke Skywalker, and you hearted my comment that said, "Now the Force will be with us today," and thank you. Well, thanks, man. I really appreciate that. There's a little more here. It's hard to make out. Even possibly... Thank you. P.S. If you do decide to send an autograph or a signed poster, here's my info. Thanks, man. I appreciate you. Thanks for sending mail in to me. Guys, if you want to send mail, I love these. I love unboxing these. I'm going to do them... I should probably do them once every week, but I figure if I do them once every month, we'll have like a bigger stash. It'll be like a nice longer video where I can just chill with you guys. I think Vader comes to Earth. They will not be good. Don't send letters. Don't send sad letters, please. Oh, I guess someone's trying, crying. Can we get an F in the chat? Keep the fan mail coming. Always makes my day. Oh, well, that's good. You like these fan mails. I mean, I know a lot of people don't tune into them because it's like not lore videos or it's slower or whatever, but I don't know. I really love you guys and... You guys are the ones that make the channel, so it's like if you're going to take time out of your day to send me something or draw me something like <laughs> like that, uh, you best be sure it. I'm going to read it. Dear Star Wars Theory, I have already written to you before, but this time I wanted to type it because of my bad handwriting. I just wanted to say that your reading my letter meant so much to me. It really was the highlight of this year. Thank you so much for what you have done for Star Wars. Also, you said my name wrong. It's Isaiah, not Isaiah. Okay, sorry. Uh, you are on this council. We do not grant you the rank of master. I'm sorry, Isaiah. I Isaiah. Should I just say Isaiah? <laughs> Sincerely, Isaiah Taylor. 
P.S. Drawing credit goes to my sister, Isabella Taylor. I'm so sorry. I'm just a beginning art student. <laughs> hey, you know what? Oh, is it, oh, it's supposed to be me. Swole Wars. You know what? I thought it was Ben Solo, and then I realized that he doesn't have hair. So, uh, it's that's me, guys. Let's, uh, new profile picture right there. Thank you very much, uh, Isabella, and, and thank you, uh, uh, Isaiah. Isaiah? It was, it was Isaiah. It was Isaiah. Isaiah! Very close. Very close. Oh, I almost ripped it. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a Lego. It's a Lego piece. Dear Star Wars Theory. Hello there. My name is Jackson Leach. I am 14 years old and I live in Maine in the USA. And I run I run your Instagram fan page. Oh, cool. Okay. I've been wanting to write to you for a while now. So I'm really happy you got a P.O. box. I hope all is well. I really like the variety of content you've been putting out lately. I can't wait for episode two of the Vader series, and I hope you are able to get a big sponsor to help fund it soon. I was wondering if it would be possible to get your autograph. If not, I completely understand, as I know you don't have time to write back to everyone. Take care, and may the force be with you. Sincerely, you know what, man? Like, P.S. I included this Lego figure, which is supposed to be you as a Lego. It includes a stand, so you can put on your shelf wherever. Oh, <laughs> thanks. That's me again. Look. Well, thank you. You know what? Um, uh, Jackson came to me, and he made the uh, Star Wars Theory Instagram fan page, and I'm like, I have a fan page? That's just so weird. Um, but it was very, very flattering and very cool and humbling to see. So I am also going to send you a uh, autograph picture. Now, obviously, these are... These are saved for um, my Patreon account, which all goes towards, you know, paying for the channel and all the content and all the things that I do for the channel, uh, which has a lot of expenses. And I, I have that tier, which is like one of the perks that you get with uh, one of the, the, the patron uh, tiers that people usually subscribe to. And I give that away as like part of one of the things. So, but I'm going to give it to you as well for free because you, you're very nice and you do a lot. So thank you so much. And also to the other guy. Next up. This one is from the USA as well. Ooh. Okay. I don't know what's going on here. They're like pogs or something? I don't know. Uh, two bucks from Tyler. He says, do you think... That the time travel thing would work for an... I hope they don't do time travel. But, I mean, if that brings Luke back, sure. General Kenobi with 10 bucks. Have you ever considered doing a, a live Star Wars quiz with your fans with the winner getting a lightsaber of their... That's actually a really cool idea. That's actually a really fun idea. And Macabobo with 79 euros. 79 cents. Euros. Right. Star Wars Theory. I'm glad you l like the fan art i sent i'm the one who sent the picture of palpatine saying do it also if you live in the star wars galaxy would you rather be as jedi or sith i'd rather be just a fourth force user because i feel like jedi are just too many rules man p.s could samuel jackson play mace in episode two and also sent some tokens of my appreciation and sorry if my handwriting is a little sloppy it's okay i'm left-handed my handwriting sucks these are very cool thank you dude hey jar jar right there I don't think Mace could, uh, or Samuel Jackson could play as Mace because it's like against Lucasfilm's rules. I'm pretty sure. Unfortunately, which sucks, but oh well. All right, just a few more left, and then we're done. Hey, I don't know what this is. It's like money. <laughs> it's like Star Wars money. That's cool. Oh, five bucks. Thank you.
Armando. I wanted to congratulate you for your magnificent fan film, Vader Episode 1, Shards of the Past. The Star Wars saga has been a big part of my life since I first saw Episode 4, A New Hope, in 1977 when I was six years of age. I would later go on to watch the classic six episodes with George, which George Lucas collectively refers to as the tragedy of Darth Vader. Watching your fan film one Friday night last December, however, reawakened my interest in Star Wars. I believe that your film successfully captures the agony of Darth Vader, a tragic hero with a level of skill and technique that is on par with the classic episodes by George Lucas. Together with these movies, I consider this work part of my personal Star Wars canon. Please accept my donation of $5 US, which due to my strained finances is the most I can now contribute. That's more than generous. Uh, and one humble petition from this admirer of your work. Please bring Padme back for the uh, forthcoming episodes two and three. As you can imagine, Padme's hug was my favorite part of your film. This was unexpected and very tender. Please bring her again and give Vader's tortured soul uh, at least a brief instance of solace. In closing, thank you again for making such an amazing fan film and rekindling my interest in stars. May the force be with you. Give Vader's tortured soul at least a brief instance of solace. <laughs> if you only knew what we had planned for episode two and three, um, yeah, I don't know if I don't know if uh, Vader's gonna get any uh, brief instance of solace or, or not, but um, yeah, maybe we'll see her. Uh, Armando is also a astronomer specializing in education and public outreach, computer science professional. Linux Systems Administrator. Ah, it's cool, man. Thank you, bro, and, and thank you for your five bucks. I appreciate that. That's very kind of you. I feel like there was one more left here, no? No, man. That wraps up the mail. Well, I also have some stuff, some mail of my own, which I actually shipped this to myself from, uh, from Celebration. I bought it. It's the dark side version of Anakin Skywalker by Hot Toys, and I still haven't opened it yet, but... I really want to. What the heck was that? This never falls off. It was pretty cool. And then I also shipped to myself um, limited edition Darth Sidious hilt, which I don't know if you guys want. I could open it now or I could open it in its own video, which I feel like it needs to be opened in its own video, as well as this. But if you guys want, I could put this together too. I don't know. Could be cool. What are you guys, what are you guys saying? What you feeling? We got a lot more super chats here. Um, Hannah Simpson with five, five Australian dollars. I, no, is it Australian or it just says a? I think Australian would be is it AU or AUS? Uh, CSX girl says hi Star Wars theory. So glad I finally made it to one of your live streams. This is your first. Interesting. And she donates twenty bucks. A question for you. In your opinion, how could Episode Nine turn Ray from Mary Sue into a more developed character as a whole? Thank you. If she goes through some sort of trial or some some sort of failure, because that's the only way that you know you can kind of show progress. I feel like if is if someone's weak and then they go through something, some mental or physical barrier transformation, and then they eventually overcome that and they become stronger physically or mentally. So I feel like that's the, kind of the only way that she could do. It. Oh wait, you guys want you guys want me to open? You guys want me to put the Anakin thing together now or later? Some people say. Later, some people, a lot of people say now. Australia is AUD, right? Put them together in a separate vid. Okay, type one if you want me to put the Anakin statue together now. Type two if I should save it for its own video. I'm gonna save the the hilt for for its own thing because it's also signed by Ian McDermott. I got it signed by him in person, and then I got the stamp of, or the sticker of approval, which was really cool. Um, let's see what you guys say. You guys are flooding the chat. I don't even know what's going on. Oh, there's a lot of twos, man. You guys seem to want it in other videos, in, in its own video. The In its own video would be nice because it would be like, uh, I would use the better camera. This is just my webcam that I'm using right now, which is probably decent quality. Uh, but um, I'd get like nice pan arounds and stuff. And I have like a second camera that I'd use as well. 
It seems like a tight match, man. Like one and two. You guys want me to open it in another video? Yeah, there's a lot of twos. There's a lot of ones too. The Mr. Pete channel needs 700 subs, sends $5, and he says, if given the opportunity, would you rather direct, write, edit, or pick two of the three or do all three of an episode of The Mandalorian? Catch. You only get $1. <laughs> what? Oh, okay. If I only get $1? Well, yeah, okay. Uh, I would... I don't think I'm qualified to direct. I think I'm qualified to write. Edit would be... I don't want to edit. I would write. I would write. I think there are way more qualified directors out there. Otherwise, I would have directed the fan film myself. Right? Tops cards. Let's open these cards up. You guys are still typing ones and twos, eh? Wow, these are some old cards, man. And there's gum. <laughs> it's like some very old. You can tell how old these are. I think this is like, or, wait, is this a collectible? Should I have not opened this? These are like very, very old. Jeez. Look at this. It's like, that's Boba getting his blaster cut in half. Like, look how old the paper is. Dude, if this was like some crazy collectible and I just opened it up, like I'm going to be very, very upset. <laughs> My brother works at Disney. Do you want a free metal lightsaber? Yes, I do. Get me into Star Wars land. I, I, I want to see that. I called him Mr. Clean first. Back off. I guess I just need an earring. Hey, whose lightsaber is your favorite and why? Probably have to say Darth Sidious's lightsaber is one of my favorites. But color-wise, I'd say Mace Windu's is definitely very cool. I love Mace's. But hilt wise, yeah, hilt the hilt is probably Sidious because it's just like very smooth and looks very just alien like. It looks cool, and uh, color, yeah, probably Mace Windu just because it's unique. You know, it's different. It's, I also have this huge Hulk statue for the Marvel Channel, which I I gotta open up, but uh, I haven't yet. Which, I mean, this will be cool. If you guys haven't subscribed to the Marvel channel, check it out. The links are all down below. And the Cobra Kai channel and the Harry Potter channel. Um, everything that I'm doing, I'm working around the clock to basically bring you guys episode two. And uh, I don't know. It, it, it's it's a it's. I'm gonna need at least 250 grand to to make it happen. Oh, there's a letter I didn't open. And it was by my feet. Guy called Johnny with two euros. Hey, whose lightsaber is your... Okay, we just did that. I forget the name sometimes. Darth Carnus with five bucks. Catching my very first live stream. I'm a huge fan. Love the Vader fan film. Can't wait for Vader episode two. Keep up the awesome work. Well, you guys, you won't get Vader episode two for a while because people aren't really donating, to be honest. Uh, I, I've learned, you know, the people who have obviously are the ones that really want to see it. And the people who don't either can't, which is fair enough. Or they um, they don't believe in it that well or something like that. So, um, yeah. So, I mean, I don't know. It's going to take a long time. And I don't really feel like, you know, spending 250 grand of my own money this time. I'd rather just let it save up and accumulate and, you know, not take out any loans or anything like that. And just, yeah, do it like that. But um, we'll see where it goes. Dear Star Wars Theory, I hope this reaches you. Hello there. I sent you a letter containing my theories, which you read at 10721 of your unboxing video. That's very, very precise. All of these theories were just me trying to sound smart and act like I know something about the franchise. I now have a legitimate theory that I thought of just a few moments ago while watching a Star Wars Clone Wars. You know what? This gave me an idea. 
if you guys want me to read your theories on the channel, I would love to do that. So you could just mail me something or you could, um, I don't know, email me to the Vader fan film email uh, or something like that. And I could like pool them all together and just read them in live streams. We could just talk about different fan theories that are out there, which would be cool. I think it was sweet. I now have a legitimate theory that I thought of a few moments ago while watching Star Wars The Clone Wars. I'm catching up on it prepare for Season 7. This is how I think that Episode 9 will play out. So if the First Order can take control of the galaxy, where do things go from there? If in Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, we don't have all... We don't have an all-out bad force wizard intent on crushing the galaxy under his foot. In fact, we don't really know what we have because Ren doesn't yet particularly seem to know what he wants at all. His actions at the end of The Last Jedi are product, are the product of pure emotional instinct rather than any kind of long-game strategy or manifesto. He doesn't advocate Sith or Jedi. He just wants to burn down all the constru constructs of failure and betrayal that led to the misery in fireball or fury and hormonal imbalance. <laughs> you think Kylo has a hormonal imbalance? I mean, it's possible. So some plausible Star Wars theories suggest that whatever that something is, I won't echo anything we've previously seen in the Star Wars saga. The Last Jedi's breaking of the mold made sure of that. And it's possible that the first key order figures... This is a very in-depth theory. But if Kylo Ren went up against Hux, ruled first order... Uh, second order? A Hux ruled first order with the remnants of the old resistance and still milling around, awaiting an opportunity that we have making something interesting. And perhaps along the way, this conflict may reach Chiss borders. Now, you think Thrawn would come in there? That'd be kind of cool. Uh, from what I read, it seems like an interesting theory. I don't think I buy into it, though. I think something else is going to happen. I think it's going to be between Palpatine mainly. And um, we're going to see some, some stuff we've never seen before. At least, I hope. That would be cool. Uh, hello there. Good luck with episode two, says Joby One Kenobi. Thanks. Uh, the Stormtrooper TK421 says Star Wars Theory. Love your vids. Star Wars. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. Um, so yeah, so that ends it for the mail unboxing, I guess. That was a, a lot of very nice gifts that you all sent me. It definitely sits a nice place in my heart. I really appreciate you guys sending me stuff. And it just makes me feel like, you know, I'm doing something cool out there. Uh, besides just making Star Wars videos, I'm actually connecting with you guys. And that's. That's where I get a lot of my enjoyment from, which is very important. Um, it's not just so robotic and mechanical, like, you know, uh, you don't want that to happen. You want you want emotion and, and uh, to be able to connect with people who are, you know, it makes it more real. Uh, hey, Star Wars Theory, making my own book spinoff after episode nine. Would you like to have a copy? Sure. Send it to my mail. And if you guys want to send anything else to me, uh, the address is down below. It's the mailbox. So do you have any moderators? Oh, yeah. Okay. So for guys who uh, are website designers or anything like that, uh, I have just moved my website to WordPress uh, to a different server. Um, so if there are any people that are interested in, I mean, I could hire some people that want to uh, work on the website, you know, write articles and things like that for Star Wars. Obviously, you know, got to know what you're talking about. And I think, yeah, it could be another avenue, something else that's fun. More info coming soon about the projects that I'm doing, such as episode two's trailer, which should be here in, in the summer. Uh, the VFX crew are working really hard at that, and it's going to be Hollywood level. So it's going to be, um, I mean, you guys have heard me say that before, and a lot of people didn't believe me. And then, you know, we got the, the trailers for episode one. This is going to blow those out of the water, and it's going to be a lot more realistic. So... I'm hoping it's going to be here sometime in July, um, but, you know, no promises. Just know that when you do get it, it's going to be very, very real. It's going to be very good, and uh, it's not supposed to, like, allude to episode two coming soon or anything like that, but mainly to just give you guys something to chew on for a bit and uh, remember that, you know, I'm still cooking stuff up, and um, episode two is going to eventually come someday. The story is not done yet. It needs to be finished. Also, I'm working on an animation, so I want to start a new animation series um, if you guys remember, I made like a community post a little while ago, like a few months ago, asking for animators. Anyways, uh, it didn't work out. The product, the project kind of like fell through and, uh, I paid like a whole bunch of money to have these like different animations, these different characters rigged and drawn up and stuff like that. And finally now it's picking up again. So I got an animator and, uh, she's very talented and she's going to actually be, um, bringing everything to life. So these are going to be like two, three minute shorts. And I think they're going to be very funny. They're going to be kind of like fan fictions, but they're also, 
it's going to be like a little more of a realistic spin on Star Wars. So I, I'm not going to tell you everything yet, but I want you guys to wait and see. And those animations, the first one at least, is courtesy of everyone that has supported me on Patreon and the join member on YouTube. So depending on how that one goes view wise, if it ends up paying for itself you know, publicly, then I'm going to keep doing them. Otherwise, I'm just going to save those for patrons and join members only. So we'll see how that goes. But I just want to say, you know, a big thank you to those who have supported me financially on the channel because it allows me to do all these extra things such as, you know, the fan film eventually, hopefully, and uh, these animations and things like that. Also, super chats. So everything really adds up at this point. Um, Master F <laughs> Master Fister 98 with uh, two euros says first time ever donating sorry it's not much well thank you man you know Canadian dollars very low so your two euros is or t two pounds is yeah your two euros is gonna be or is that pounds I can't see from here is gonna be like uh, I don't know like five bucks or something so it's thank you Xavier with nineteen dollars says you're my hero uh, and I'd love to meet you someday keep up the great work thank you man appreciate you yeah the address to my mailbox is down below in the description go check it out also check out the merch if you guys want um, yeah, so would you consider doing a kind of let's play a Vader Immortal with the first episode being out? Yeah, uh, so I have my Oculus Rift, but I think I have to buy an Oculus Quest, right? So uh, I might have to do that unless I can play it on the one that I have. I just have to set everything up again. It's been a while. I've been like on the go, I've been traveling. Uh, I leave for LA again next week. So, um, that'll be fun for a little secret project. It's not the fan film. But uh, it's, yeah, it's going to be fun. So I can help with the website. Please respond. All right. Email me, man. All right. Well, this has been the end of the uh, the live stream. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you, everyone, for sending me <laughs> sending me cash and sending me uh, uh, very nice uh, gifts. Uh, really, really means a lot to me. And your nice heartfelt letters. I'm going to go mail out this autograph stuff. To some of you and thank you very much to the guys over at blender bottle for all of these very very cool nice bottles that they sent me uh, i'm definitely gonna be sipping on these for sure and uh keeping my my protein shakes and my uh waters nice and cold especially the chosen one one i really love that one i'm a big anakin fan so um yeah thank you guys so much thanks for joining and i'll see you all in the next one uh catch you in tomorrow's video love you all and as always remember force will be with you always see you guys